hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and it is breastfeeding week this week from the 31st of july up to actually next week on friday no this week on friday uh friday is what six so from the 31st of july to the 6th it's a breastfeeding week now i was like okay what's this do we get to show people our breasts uh, come I wanted to feed Selassie today just a second. So, you guys, you know how pregnant women with Kajanja be having all kinds of ideas. If you have your Kamane, you're like, I'm going to buy the breastfeeding pillow. I'm going to buy the breastfeeding tube, the warmer, the what. I bought nearly everything and ended up giving them away. Because I gave birth around the same time my friends were also giving birth. So I ended up giving some of the things because I realized you buy so much that you don't need. So even when I got a breastfeeding pillow, it was uncomfortable. I think some of you that have bought it before, you know you buy things because you want to buy and have everything you need when you get your child. And then you realize you're just first-time parent. Anyway, you'll know. First-time parents buy anything, everything, what you don't need. And it turned out that there's this pillow. Because I've always had home. It's just the most comfortable pillow. Just the way you know you have the most comfor comfortable side you like to sleep on because of particular pillow at home i love this pillow so much and somehow when selassie came he came at a time when i was finding comfort in this pillow when i was pregnant so i decided to turn this into my breastfeeding pillow so usually what i do i make sure i change its covers so you can use any pillow you have at home i change the covers as much as i want mine is african print because i'm all about that and then i get one of his clothes i put to cover so that it's not that <laughs> someone told me that when mothers who have had children over and over again are like oh first wait so you have to put something on your wraps before you breastfeed your own child you have to put a katawel here because what germs are there but excuse us one thing you need to know with this motherhood thing you cannot be told everything you're going to do some of the things you just do because they are from your heart again welcome to my glass of happiness and this week give me it's your daughter, mommy. And this week, this week we are in breastfeeding week. And I just want to breastfeed my Selassie when I'm here with you guys. Why? Because I'm encouraging all the mothers out there. Eh? That's so interesting. Mm, I know it's coming. Hey, don't embarrass me, my friend. Mm. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. So this video is intended to say kudos to all breastfeeding mothers out there because it's really something that is not easy to do. I tried to brief Selassie you not know, to act very hungry today so that I can work and talk at the same time. I hope I can inspire a mother out there who is afraid of it. It was very pain. Why am I even rushing through it? Let me take you slowly, slowly by slowly through this. I hope I can feed and talk to you at the same time. He's even slapping me for not paying attention. <sighs> One of the things I'll say for starters is I thank God for lockdown. I wanted to say I thank God for Corona, but I'll have stretched it. I thank God for lockdown because these days that we've been locked down beginning last year march they've enabled me to be a mom you know i was in sky's face so much that i ended up conceiving god just had pity i think god saw the things we were doing in the closet eh, and saying these people if i give them any chance to keep looking for a child they might end up doing things that are not supposed to be done yeah so let's move on straight so god blessed me with a wonderful son and i always promised myself maybe it's because of how much i really waited to have selassie I promised myself I will do everything over and above what I can for him, including breastfeeding him. Because it's general knowledge that breastfeeding is really amazing for the immunity of our children. So usually when I start recording and enjoying here, my neighbors remember to play music so loud. So I hope you can concentrate past their music. I have no clue. I'm so no crew to shoot me, so I'm using my phone. Meaning that I didn't want people to see my breasts <laughs> when I'm breastfeeding. So I decided to record myself. 
and I don't have sound but I really really have to do this if I procrastinate any further I will end up not doing it and the breastfeeding week will be passing so like I'm saying I thank God for lockdown because it's locked me down with my newborn baby and then I'm able to nurse and then I've kind of written my schedules around the breastfeeding schedule you know I, I will go with him everywhere I can go with him if I need to I'm just encouraging mothers out there we are in a very dangerous time where health is extremely unpredictable so if you can feed your child if you can breastfeed your child just do it and you can be so sure that uh, boss ate finished slept and said mommy whatever you are on about me i'm done eating praise come and help come 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 so let's just have selassie go and we continue with our jazz he blacked out he slept so first back back here let me continue banging kebi <laughs> I know you want to see the face you will see it don't worry so like i was saying breastfeeding was so painful you know there are very many myths around breastfeeding um some fear it because they say it's painful well it was painful for me because i was doing it wrongly believe it or not i had a lactation specialist from tmr i gave birth from tmr it's in nalia you'll see that video i'm also preparing it for you for chronicles of ubuntu so yeah i had a, a lactation specialist who was trying to teach me but then selassie came before i learned as much as i could learn and then i left everything to nature but the second day after giving birth i have never felt that much pain ever in my life was that when the breast milk was entering my breasts it's like i don't know it's like they're injecting core in my breasts i have never ever been in that much pain yet i've given birth yeah if I tell you that the breasts hurt me more than giving birth hurt me, that's when you'll understand. So I, when I heard that it was breastfeeding week, I wanted to tell you mothers out there who are breastfeeding that you're the heroes. I am struggling having to, to create time, time to shoot, time to be with Celeste because I don't want to compromise. Now why I waited for Celeste? There's no compromise. I am not about compromise at all. I had decided i had told myself i am going to breastfeed exclusively and there's no no one will stop my reggae even if it means putting straws and removing the breast milk i was so ready and god just said okay let's not overreact i'll bless you with breast milk so i've had breast milk to the extent that i was actually feeding two babies in the first the first three the first two and a half months of my pregnancy i was breastfeeding two babies i have a friend who got twins and unfortunately couldn't breastfeed and they were premature we actually eventually lost one and they only needed breast milk apparently breast milk is really 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 hard to get and i understand now because even getting breast milk to feed your own child is hard later on collecting and keeping and giving others so i was pumping i would pump like two packs and send them uh, sending her like six packs a week i wasn't even doing so much but i had to pump and then feed a boy every time you say you're expecting a boy they say boys can eat boys can breastfeed in the middle of the night even knows how to scan the breast and know that this is the side where mommy is this is not the side where daddy is so and i would never give up breastfeeding for anything really the connection is too much. Sometimes I look at Selassie and I'm seeing sky. I see God actually. I see <laughs> I see Selassie and I'm like, these these are just answered prayers. Breastfeeding doesn't come naturally. If you are unable to feed, it is okay. There's nothing to feel guilty about. You don't love your child any less because you've not breastfed. Though if you can, please do. So what I'm thinking is we should all pray for the grace to be able to feed our children exclusively on breast milk then there's something i wanted to point out something that is really important if you're going to breastfeed it's nice to have support the support i'm talking about is not the pra praise that will bring the child to you or praise that will help you burp when you can't get up what 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 no your partner and i'd like to say kudos to sky because data selassie has made it a point there's not a time 
he has really made it a point. There's not a time I have needed him to be there with me during this whole process and he has not, you know. Very few occasions, very few occasions, like now where I don't want him to be here because I know he's going to distract me when I'm shooting. Otherwise, every time Selassie cries and he wants to come to the breast, usually Sky is the one that picks up Selassie, console consoles call him and then brings him to the boob so somehow selassie knows that when i'm hungry the first thing i want to do before anything else is be in daddy's arms because somehow daddy's arms eh, somehow after i smell him and i see the dreads i know milk is somewhere around the corner and i think it's something that in my heart makes me so happy so happy there are the small things that he's been able to do and be there when Sedasi is young that I refuse to take for granted so yeah it's breastfeeding week and I'm sending love and strength and hugs to every breastfeeding mother out there and oh, we can be suffering hmm. me I'm gaining weight a challenge you guys so you have to eat so that you have breast milk you know, I'm a bad eater, but now I can't spend a whole day without eating. I have to eat so that I have some breast milk to feed. Then I kind of love my breasts. My boobs were like this. But now they have purpose. You can see that there's a breast. You can be like, Anne has a breast. You can see it and be like, can see me is a girl now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm no longer a joke. So a few things you can take home with you. It's the most healthy way you can feed your newborn baby. It is an amazing way to connect with your child. But most of all, if you're unable to do it, it does not come naturally to everyone. And it's excruciatingly painful if it's done wrongly. Um, just know, it does not make you a worse mom because you can't breastfeed your child, you know. But if you can breastfeed your child, please do. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Please continue. Subscribe. Tell your friend to subscribe. Because we are going to have amazing content. Hey. Bye guys.